Good afternoon, everybody. I apologize for the delay in coming up here. When I first heard the name, I just assumed it was Mike Thomas from the class of 2008, who's Fox 5's favorite local meteorologist. Uh, I would like to congratulate all my fellow deserving nominees. Uh, the DeMatha Brotherhood is indeed strong and never ceases to amaze me. I'm honored to have been nominated and given this award. We all know DeMatha stood for excellence for over 75 years now, and to be included in this event is very humbling. Tom Ponton, who's been a great supporter of my tournament, called to let me know of my selection. I was indeed pleasantly surprised, but in shock. Tom has been kind enough to donate plenty of stag swag over the years at our event. There's always past, current, and future DeMatha uh, stags at the tournament each year. I certainly didn't earn this award on my own. I have a tremendous, I have had tremendous support and help along the way. Several of those folks are here in the audience today. First, I would like to thank Jim Droper, who's director of bands and just retired after 40 years. If you didn't stick around so long and blackballed me all these years, I would have won this award years ago. <laughs> but seriously, Jim's been a good friend. He drove all the way from West Virginia to be here, and I'm honored to have his wife, Leslie, here too, who always spreads happiness everywhere she goes. I co-founded For the Kids back in 2009 with my good friend and business partner, Gary Help. Gary and I started our respective businesses together, and we're looking for a way to be able to give back. Gary, thanks for running the charity with me, for being next to me, so that we can leave our community a little bit better than the way we found it. I would also like to thank class of 85 alum, Mike Poole, who's here tonight somewhere, uh, for nominating me to this committee. Mike and I met here at DeMatha, formed an awfully strong brotherhood, and over 30 years later are still friends. Uh, fellow DeMath alum, Jerry Truman, who's here tonight, has been a tremendous supporter of For the Kids and is a big reason for our success over these 23 years. Good friends of ours, the Currys and the Dwyrens are here. They volunteered and played in each of the tournaments, and I can't thank them enough for their support. My in-laws, John and Nancy McGurk, Elijah, I lucked out too. I married into a great family as well. They've been very supportive of our tournament from the beginning, and I surely appreciate it. I owe a great deal of thanks to my mom and dad for sacrificing and allowing me to attend DeMatha, how they raised me by their hard work, actions, and deeds made me the man I am today. Dad is no longer with us, but he truly believed in all things DeMatha. He loved to volunteer his time and talents at several functions, and for those that knew him, you know he loved to do a blackjack and probably take your money at the stag night every year. Thanks to my mom for continuing to keep me on my toes, making sure I stay on the straight and narrow. Once a teacher, always a teacher. I'm blessed with two, kids to two healthy kids to raise. My son Justin is out in the workforce, and my daughter Kendra in her third year at college. She was almost as proud as I was when she received her honorary acceptance to the DeMatha class of 2020, back when she was applying to high schools. A tip of the cap to our fearless leader, Dr. McMahon, for, uh, for sending that acceptance letter over. They say behind every good man is an even better woman. It's not the case with me. <laughs> Just kidding, sweetie. My wife, Sue, has been my better half for 38 years. We still remember dancing in the antler room downstairs during the 80s, being serenaded by Father James, who would join in with the DeMatha bands. Sue has been with me every step of this journey. I would not want to be with anyone else. Thank you, sweetie. In closing, I do have to say, DeMatha really taught me to be a gentleman and a scholar. But I also learned about charity and fundraising. With their teaching, guidance, and prodding, when I was a student here, they sent me out into the community to raise money by selling the world's finest chocolate bars.
to keep the spirit alive. I have a box of them if anybody wants to donate to the cause. St. John DeMatha.